What's up guys, b Rad here at the weightlifting event. So stay tuned and watch this event. What's going on right now? Explain. Uh, so, group one's warming up. Uh, we've got about 10 minutes left for the first lifter. Uh, everyone's excited, ready to go, I think. Fun. Uh, Ideal, oh, mate. What's up guys, b Rad from the future here. So I'm literally here to fill you in of exactly what's happened. So I'm actually editing this video as we speak. So where we're at at the moment is first category the snatch at the moment. We're gonna fast forward a little bit. So instead of showing every single individual, I'm gonna show a couple of athletes, highlight that area, and then I'm gonna segue you onto the cleans and jerks of the women's category. Uh, I'm gonna let Ollie explain exactly how he gets, uh, or how he coaches his, his athletes to get ready from the warming up room into the big lift basically. How that happens behind the scenes, what's happening in terms of scores of sorts. Personally I don't understand a bloody thing with it all. Hopefully you guys do and hopefully it's a kind of give evidence of what's happening exactly. However, in the future I might pop again so past B-Rad might segue to future B-Rad <laughs> and we'll segment things together a little bit so it makes sense to you guys why we're raising awareness for a certain charity, uh, why it's essential for you to give money to a certain said charity, and um, even run your own events like this to, again, raise awareness for charities that uh, need your help, basically, or awareness. So, back to past B-Rad. What's happening now, Ollie? Uh, warming up for clean jerks, uh, they've just started, uh, so hopefully we should do well. Uh, Caroline's going to be coming uh, 
57 are we going? 56. 56. 56. Okay. So it'll be, be easy. Be easy. Warm up's gone well. What sort of stuff do you do for the warm up then? Uh, so right at the start we did kind of like ground mobility, uh, warming up the back, warming up the knees, ankles, uh, lats, shoulders, wrists, things like that. Uh, and then we got onto the bar, movement patterns, lots of kind of like snap balances, stuff like that. Just work, just get nice and aggressive with the bar. Obviously back here we're not going as heavy out there, so we still want to put the, the attention into the bar. Um, so yeah, it's gone well. Uh, so looking forward to actually seeing the final result. You're good mate, yeah. Maybe one or more people 
So as an association we can provide um, financial grants that cover a range of things from um, helping with home adaptations but also simply paying for uh, a young carer to go out with their friends for a holiday for So we, we kind of, we're there for families in however they need us. We also campaign tirelessly to improve the, the, the world, the country for families affected by OD. Um, including our Scraps at Months campaign, which um, is calling for the law to change so the benefits can come in not just at, at six months for people with terminal illnesses, for people with MND, they, they need it when they're diagnosed. MND is a terminal illness, and so the benefit system needs to recognise that. And we also are campaigning to, to ensure that local councils can adapt to families' homes in a, in a much quicker um, capacity. But most importantly, we also provide um, significant research grants to help try and one day find an effective treatment and then ultimately a world free from the day and the cure. Where does your where does your funding come from? So how does your government purely for insurance? Unfortunately, I think you already know the answer. Um, we are entirely reliant reliant on voluntary voluntary donation and people putting their hand in their pocket and saying yes we want to see a world free from them indeed and fortunately there's there's so many people that, that act that on incredible events like the weightlifting competition today or um, donate regularly through um, a, a direct debit or pledge to leave a gift in their will which um, makes a big difference or you know run an event anything even just a fiver in a bucket makes a difference. Well, then right then, obviously the COVID and the lockdown situation, I'm guessing it's hurt you immensely because obviously people can't run events, they can't do things like this. So I'm guessing they will fund over the last year probably got to be I mean, it's, it was scary. <laughs> I think for everybody, lockdown was, was an unknown, but especially for people who um, were facing MND, because um, it, it's, it's a neurodegenerative condition. It affects people's abilities to breathe, and so COVID um, was an added stress that our families just didn't need. So the association acted very quickly. Um, we changed the way we worked. We started providing online support. Um, virtual support uh, and that costs money and at the same time as doing that the London Marathon was cancelled and all of the other kind of traditional face-to-face -face events got cancelled so you know fortunately our supporters they stepped up but the more money that we can we can raise the different, bigger difference that we can, can make and as a result of generosity we can put more money into research so just touch on the research because uh, i'm old enough to remember when the hiv the like you said terminal diagnosis and now it's managed uh, largely managed drug which i'm guessing is just by having enough money okay how far along is it? Are, are there any ideas about how we might be on the right track? Or You're welcome. So much more? It's, it's really difficult to tell. I mean, one thing I do know, and we all know, is that MND isn't incurable. It's just underfunded. Um, we saw from the effects of the, the ice bucket challenge um, back in 2014 that a large fund of events like that, which took over the world, helped us find a specific gene which is associated with MND. And as a result of that, we have been able to, to look into potential treatments now. So it, it, there's, it's a direct extrapolation. The more money we get, the more research we can do. And, and sometimes research doesn't come back with the answer that we want. It's, it's negative. But at the same yeah. time, we know to stop looking. Yeah, you've got to pick up the Yeah. We know that, and at the moment, there's £14 million worth of investment in, um, in, in research this year alone because, because of people donating to the MD Association. Um, any one of them could find an answer, could find a treatment, um, and any one of them will tell us the next place to go and look. I think that's what I'd say to the people watching this, and um, the part of today, is that sometimes they think they can do, oh, I'm only going to raise 500 pounds, I'm only going to raise 1,000 pounds, but like you said, no, no, that's not going to be the thing that can get you over the line. 
Raise awareness because I think awareness is half the battle. If if we can um, spread the news of what the symptoms are of MND, then maybe somebody will get a diagnosis quicker as well. And I think that's really important. Um, and just yeah, anything you can, and it's the pennies. They add up to make a bigger difference. Yeah, that's, a, that's a good plug. That. So be rad. We're going to put the um, just giving link on this bit. And if you've got one pound, two pound, three pound, four pound, whatever it is, please. So we've got six and a half thousand now. And, and it's rusty too. And we're going to get to ten. So we're going to leave there. Just give it open for 28 days after the event. We want to make sure that having gets plenty of money. Thanks so much for coming today. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Oh, oh, I'm busy, I'm so right. I'm sweating till the stink <laughs> burner. I should have worn sunglasses outside. Whose idea was it to stand in the sun? <laughs> <laughs> you have to shoot on, we were like that. Oh, I'm sorry. Exact. I'm sure there's a joke in there. rammed as you can see so despite the actual gym being shut in terms of not having a gym equipment is showing good results in terms of everyone getting down everyone showing support to the right cause everyone supporting each other in terms of the lifts and everything which is great so um yeah honestly i don't think there's actually parking space available at the moment parking place it shouldn't park but hey ho but yeah good event guys good event good turnout make of the day then? Yeah, it's been amazing. Um, so many like really great performances. How many coffees have you had? Don't need more than that when you're watching all that. So. Yeah, the adrenaline's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, it's really good. Um, just enjoyed watching everyone, kind of had fun, lots of people spectating and cheering everyone on. And yeah, I think what stands out to me is how many people have said to me, oh, this is the first time I've done something since lockdown or since COVID, and they just really appreciate the opportunity. So when I first said to you that we were going to do an event, what was your reaction? Did you think, oh, no way we're doing that? Uh, no, I was excited for it, a bit apprehensive, because yeah. it's always you to go a bit well. of a big yeah. challenge, isn't it? Setting oh, something yeah. up like this. Um, I think what, what I worry about is I worry about people coming here and being like, oh, that was badly organised, or that was crap, or 
and play. I spoke to a guy this morning come from Cambridge. Yeah. He's like, jump from Cambridge, there's something wrong, you know, with So I was worried that we'd let people down, but I haven't heard one negative piece of feedback. So I told you we'd run the best event in the UK. I think it's the best event in the UK. Yeah, I reckon so. I yeah. think it's got the potential to be bigger as well. So yeah, and we've done well for like the first event. Got three but the first one, I said to a lot of people here, why don't they have got <laughs> and take this event to air flights right there across the UK? Why did you enjoy it? We're sitting at about seven grand. Yeah. I've still got some more uh, people to rinse. Definitely gonna yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, we'll leave a link yeah. to the yeah. after the event. We'll give the host <laughs> members to London. We'll give them a computer to make another donation. Are you proud of it? Yeah. And, uh, so now you're retired. Yeah. Watch your hands under the hammer. Eat them in each other's. <laughs> You've had a long day. You've had a long day. But I think from Winners 2000's perspective, I hope that you and your family are proud of the event. It's so only a personal, personal um, attachment to you. I hope you're proud of it. And I do think that the Northern Ireland Association are really grateful having spoken to Helen earlier. So I think we did good. I think everyone has enjoyed it. Same as you, lots of very positive comments. And it does mean the world to me and my family. It's made a difference to us. Hopefully, the funds and the research will help other families. Yeah, it's really good thing. And there's still a few t shirts there. 18 quid. This is fucking two weeks out from the show. Diet, look at his face there. Poor bastard. Poor you. So your name is? Angelique Wallace. Angelique, and she said Angelique, and this is Grandma, yeah? Helen. Right, let's start with you. How proud were you of Angelique? I'm always proud of my children yeah. and grandchildren. Yeah. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 14. Wowzers, yeah. Yeah, big yeah. up mad respect. I'll tell you yeah. what I noticed watching you is how focused you look. I'm used to people watching me, yeah. in a sense, and I, I know what I've got to do, and it's, that's all I have to worry about. I have to worry about myself. Yeah, do you know what? Actually. She just dis yeah. described next practice and she yeah. ignored the noise. These are one of the things we talk about. Well, um, uh, when are you going to take up weightlifting then? <laughs> Swimming. Swimming. Yeah. Swim. Well, you have good shoulders, weren't you? You have very good shoulders. I'm a swimmer, that's it. And right. where have you come from today? Uh, sorry. Wow. Yeah. So you came down the three hour free, did you? Yeah. How long did that take? I actually took us just under three hours oh, yesterday. Yeah. Nobody was camping out of the stone end. <laughs> no, not this time. That's not really the truck. That's not really the problem. Well, thanks very much for coming Thank all the you. way to our event and you should be incredibly proud of yourself I like, am. you conducted yourself for 40 I thought you were about 24 but 40 <laughs> <laughs> I get that a lot oh you, his mum is his mum come on mum come on in oh, oh, right. <laughs> do, they, do they call this like photo bombing or something <laughs> yes. right, what's your name mum Sarah and Sarah also competed yes was this your first time it was yes and I loved it <laughs> we've been talking about how grandma's taken up a little bit <laughs> and how amazing uh, her little daughter was yes and um, how <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, when we run these events, uh, we hope it does, it's good people not to kind of test themselves. You know, so that's exactly what it is. platform to have some pressure yeah. and improve. So our events are nothing without you. Uh, thanks very much for coming. And I want to rinse you for some more money. Make sure you buy a t-shirt. Yeah, you don't know. We don't make sure you buy a t-shirt. Yeah. And make sure that you share all the content, right? Yeah, and you no, ask people right. to make a donation. Oh, okay, yeah, we will do. Who are you? Who are you? I love that. Who are you? Who are you? I'm sorry. Do you still like the bodybuilding community? Not really. Not really. Because it's big in the same way. You can see the bags. 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 Oh, we call him Beckham. Beckham. <laughs> <laughs> you heard that? So you just like a minute. You take his top off. No! <laughs> A hundred pounds will get the baby oil out. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank you. It was very inspiring to watch. Thank you. Right, I'm going to get back in the house. Got this? Yeah. Right, just so right, we're going to go and strip back in our GM for a tunnel. <laughs> She says she's going to give 10 pounds 
picture. A tenner. It's not enough for that. What's up on that? Where we're doing this picture. Yeah. I haven't yeah. got a pump or anything. I'm a model. <laughs> Take it off if you want to take it off. Take it off if you want to take it off. I've been paid for it, guys. <laughs> That is the best it's talent. almost worth a five of everyone's money. Lovely. He's set. What are you starting off with? 76. 76. Are you confident? Good. Yeah. yeah. Shave his legs, he's ever confident. <laughs>been a massive day me again person been vlogging it for the whole day i say a vlog it's basically been me videoing a load of people um, astonishing people i should say amazing people who can lift that much weight above their head is absolutely nuts so yeah that is a wrap on the day yeah i, I can't I, I didn't expect it to be that big you know when you have expectations of things it just literally blew it out of the water in terms of what was i really expecting and uh, thoroughly enjoyed it i was there for basically 13 hours now everyone kept on looking at me and going brad you're all right you look like you're about to pass out as you can see i look like a skeletal right now yeah i made it through the day with basically nothing in terms of eating anything and because these guys need uh, a lot of <laughs> eating a load of like rice cakes like sugars gittles and stuff i'm like going Oh, I wish I had some Skittles. It's just something that would actually taste right now. <laughs> really nice right now. But um, yeah, made it through the day and 13 hours stint. I was literally the first person in there, did a workout, and I was literally the last person to leave, funny enough, or one of the last people to leave. Uh, I really enjoyed meeting Emily Campbell, uh, Emily Musket, um, who goes talky, as, as we all know, and Newton, of course, and coaches a couple of people, a couple of members, a couple of staff. And uh, and I enjoyed um, seeing Sarah as well, and um, everybody else that turned up. There was people that were lifting astronomical weights, which was like ungodly sort of amount of weight to be lifting above your head. And there's certain points where I'm like, like kind of like, oh god, if they drop that, at such high risk and stuff like that. But these guys are doing; they've been doing it for a very long time, and uh, it's impressive stuff, really. And um, yes, it kind of. Twist your point of view and it twists my point of view. It's something which I may, may get into in the future. I have done my Olympic lifting course and I have uh, got the qualification to be teaching it. However, it's one thing teaching and then it's one, another thing doing it. And uh, I haven't been doing it. I've been neglecting it quite a bit. So watch a space. I might get into it or I might do a couple of sessions with somebody on it and uh, see what a physique athlete uh, looks like doing Olympic lifting for one day. Or maybe a... 
foreseeable amount of uh, days. But yeah, that is the vlog, that is the content, that is what I produce. As you can see, I've got a light on right now because it's dark. It is literally, what time is it? Hold on, let's have a look. It's 8.23 now. I got up at 4 o'clock. I got up at 4 o'clock and I made it to that gym about 5ish and have not stopped since. Did a chest and back workout and the actual, everything started happening at 7 and you can see the dark circles like around my head, my face and everything. And uh, it's being exhausting and being really exhausting. But the thing that fueled me was because it was a, a like-minded individuals in that place that uh, repelled me. And it was for a good cause as well. So if you don't know already, some of the interviews I had with some people, uh, it was all towards a charity. And um, yes, that charity uh, is accepting donations. And um, we'll still um, like your donations, of course. So please um, give what you can. And um, it's all for a worthwhile uh, charity, of course. So, um, yeah. For all of you that did attend, thanks so much. Uh, on behalf of winners, we really appreciate it. And uh, we hope to do an annual sort of event like this in the future. Which will be great because I think uh, Simon said it before. is like something which hasn't been done before in this sort of capacity. Or this sort of platform before with the amount of turn up we had with people coming down from I was talking to a couple that came down from Surrey and uh, people that came down from Manchester I think it was and yeah it's been it's been great I can't say I honestly I'm quite buzzing despite like what I look like right now I feel like I'm I look like dead like death warmed up basically or still death still cold basically but um, I'm buzzing I think it was a great day and I think um, Whoever obviously turned up and everybody did meet that turned up really enjoyed it. All good things said about that day. And uh, silver medalist there and uh, all the Olympians there. And that was great. And uh, I had this guy t turn out and he was from, the, the commentator didn't recognise, he was from America. So he, he came from Arizona. And uh, that's uh, the North Peninsula of uh, America sort of uh, parts, like a North, Northwest area so quite warm and he comes down here and it's like torrential rain it's quite cold and everything but uh despite actually being english weather it wasn't a bad day and yeah i actually yeah i enjoyed today i think um anybody who turned up enjoyed today and i think i'm gonna stop talking now and i'm gonna end the video with thanks for turning up guys and I hope that we have events like this in the future. If you haven't already, please smash that subscribe button, press the notification button so you're on that list of where you can get notified of future videos. And I have got my peak weeks coming up soon, so if you're interested in more of a physique athlete or background as well, and um, what I get up to um, on my days on, so not a days off, on my days on of training, working, with my clients, etc. If you're interested in my sort of lifestyle, then please subscribe to my channel. But if you're interested in more winners sort of stuff, then subscribe to their channel. But also subscribe to my channel because I, I basically do all the winners sort of YouTube stuff anyway. So, on that note, see you legends later. See you right out.